Croiso. Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve quick 5 questions from Math Olympiad. So here, maybe they are easy, maybe they are not. So let's start with our first question. What is the area of a square with side length 5? Now that's really really easy, simple. Area of square is always side into side. So that's equal to side squared and side into side with the length of 5. So 5 into 5 is 25 and that's your answer choice C. So question number 2 says find the fourth power of the first prime number. So first of all we should know what is the first smallest prime number. The first the first smallest prime number is 2 and fourth power of 2 that is 2 to the power of 4 will give you 16 that's your answer choice v so here we have question number three which says a regular die is rolled what is the probability that an even number is rolled so when a die is rolled what are the outcomes when a regular die is rolled there are six outcomes one two three four five and six and uh, how many are even in this only two four and six so the probability is always given as probability of even number rolling an even number is number of possible outcomes how many possible outcomes are there one two and three three possible outcomes out of total outcomes how many total are there one two three four five six six total outcomes three out of six and that's equal to one over one over two that's your answer choice a the ratio of boys to girls in a classroom is 10 is to 15. If there are 80 boys in the classroom, how many girls are there? So the ratio of boys is 10. I'm going to write that. Ratio of boys is equal to 10. And how many boys are there? There are total 80 boys. So it can be written as 10 boys. So divide 80 divided by 10. So there are 8. 8 multiplied by ratio of girls is 15. Ratio of girls is 15. So 15 multiplied by 8. 15 multiplied by 8 will give you 120. So you can even do it this way, form a ratio 10 over 15, ratio of boys to ratio of girls is equal to number of boys to number of girls and cross multiply 80 over 10 multiplied by 15, that's 120. So that's your answer choice C. How many diagonals does a regular square and octagon have? So whenever you want to remember how many diagonals are there, you just have to remember this. Number of diagonals is given by number of sides into number of sides minus 3 divided by 2. So if you can remember this, you can easily note down how many diagonals are there. So number of diagonals for square. For square, number of diagonals is equal to square has how many sides? 2, 4 sides. 4 times 4 minus 3 over 2 so let's calculate 4 multiplied by 4 minus 3 is 1 over 2 that's equal to 2 so number of diagonals a square is having is 2 and what about number of diagonals for an octagon an octagon is having 8 sides 8 multiplied by 8 minus 3 over 2 that's equal to 8 times 5 over 2 that's equal to 20. So you have 20 diagonals in octagon. So total diagonals, 
total number of diagonals is equal to diagonals of square plus diagonals of octagon that's equal to 22 and that's your answer choice D 22 so hope you like this session five a day olympiad if this is helpful don't forget to subscribe thank you so much bye bye take care have fun